Hi, I'm Brian. Today I'm going to talk about choosing the correct size pilot holes for screws. First I'm going to show you a mediocre way to do it, and then I'm going to show you two better ways. The first way, which isn't very exact, is to take a drill bit and hold it in front of your screw, and behind the screw you want to be able to see, or behind the, the drill bit you should be able to see the threads. So here we can see a good amount of the threads. Let's try a smaller one. You can see even more, so that might be a little bit better. And let's pick a bigger one. And see. Here you can just barely see some of the threads on both sides of the, the drill bit. So this one would probably not be a good size. It seemed like this one was a little better fit. So this will work because the, the hole will be the size of this drill bit and that means the threads which are showing will be able to catch in the side of the hole. Again it's not very exact but it will work. Another way which will work a little bit better is to use a caliper and measure the shank of the screw so it's about 0.127 inches and then you want to find the screw with a diameter that's just a little bit less than that 0 0.114 0 0.124 so Actually, this is the same size as we got just by holding the screw in front, or the drill in front of the screw. So, yeah, that works. Another good option is to use one of these charts you can find online. I just googled wood screw pilot hole chart, and this is what came up. This one gives you a lot of good information about what you should use for different size screws. So, say we have a number six screw, which is a pretty normal size, and we want to drill a pilot hole. So it tells you for softwoods I would use a 7 64ths and for hardwoods I would use a 3 32nd. It also tells you for tapered pilot holes, gives you a recommended countersink. So these give you a lot of good information. You can just print one of these off and stick it up in your shop. And then you don't have to worry about measuring or doing any of that other stuff. You can just look it up the chart and you're done. I put a link for this chart in the description below. I wanted to test how much holding power screws would have in holes of different sizes, so I took a 2x4 and drilled a bunch of different holes in it. The concern with drilling very small holes is that the drill bits are really fragile and easy to break. When I was drilling the holes for this test, I managed to snap off the smallest size drill bit. Using a set of vice grips I tried to pull out the screws. It turns out that for even the largest size holes the screws are very difficult to remove. This made me think that as long as the pilot hole is relatively close to the right size it's probably good enough and will have plenty of strength. I found that drilling into the board without a pilot hole didn't cause the kind of splitting that I thought it would. I had to get really close to the ends of the board for it to split at all. In my next video, I'm going to review these quick clamps from Harbor Freight and tell you if they're worth buying. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Take care.